Hey, what's up? It's Radio Raheem, Radio 1399 on YouTube and Instagram, back with the follow-up to my PowerTech video that I made previously. I posted a picture on Instagram showing with the level how bent this extension arm was and within probably a few hours, uh, someone from PowerTech, I can't remember his name, had reached out to me through Instagram and um, asked me to give them a call, a personal phone call, um, so we could talk about what the issue possibly could be. We're gonna call him Scott, whether his name is Scott or not, because I can't remember his name, I'm not 100% sure. But Scott was at home when I made this phone call and he told me that basically some settling is normal in, in, their, in their development with this being as though it's bolted on and not welded and they chose to go with bolts to, to save on cost, overall cost of the product. But because it's bolted on under heavy load, there's going to be some initial settling with this bar. And after that settles, it's going to be locked in and it's going to be good to go um, for the remainder, for the lifetime of this product. And to show me that, to illustrate it, well, we decided a FaceTime call would be uh, appropriate so he can show me on his, because like I said, Scott was at home in his garage and he showed me on his power tech that, hey, there will be some settling. So having this be perfectly level was not gonna be the case. Well, I let Scott go through everything. And I said, that's, that's fine, that's understandable. I'll accept that. But the problem is my bar is actually bent and I showed him essentially with this right here with this yardstick and I don't know I'll try to zoom in on it and I know wood can be warped but I did the test I put it on a flat surface and it's flat right and I showed him with this that if I put it here there's some space right I'm holding it back here to show that the actual beam itself was bent. He was very surprised at that. He said that it shouldn't be like that. He acknowledged that it should not have been like that. And so he, we ended the phone call and I got emails from PowerTech saying that they apologize for the defective beam and that they would be shipping me another one as soon as possible and they asked if I could send this one back so they can have their people, their researchers or whoever in uh, quality control or whatever department it is, look at it to see why this one was defective. So I got my GoPro set up. I'm gonna do a little fast forward video. Hopefully this doesn't take long, but before I get into the putting it together, let's see what they sent me because the box just came in and I opened it, but I didn't see what was in it. So first thing we got is, uh, well, yeah, okay. First thing we got is this pouch. It's probably have has hardware. Oh no. Okay, it's got a little. Uh, what do you call this thing? Pulley. One of the pulley pulleys in it. I hope I don't have to. Okay, I know where that goes in the back. Okay, so it has pouch with the pulley and an Allen wrench for the bolt. Box, styrofoam, styrofoam, put this on the floor. And it looks like it's another arm, yes. Styrofoam and tape, which I'm gonna have to get my box cutter to get, so bear with me one second when I get something to cut this tape. Okay, so oh. it is a new arm, and I'm just going to grab my yardstick and do another quick test to see 
I don't know, it looks the same. Hold it up here. Let's see if I can do a little test. Yeah, this is flat. So this one is good from everything I can see. So this should not take too long and I uh, hope it does it. I'm gonna set up the GoPro and watch me work. here you can't see me out of the frame but uh so right now everything's put together and uh, we're going to measure and get a beginning height of everything before before I uh, start using it so this back piece right now is at 81.5 81 and a half inches in the rear and this one is 81 inches it's a little bit shy of 81 inches but actually no it's right at 81 so 81 inches in the front 81.5 in the rear I'm going to start using it as normal don't really go to 200 a lot but every now and then I'll touch it I work between 100 and 140 pounds we'll monitor it over the next couple of weeks and see if it holds up or if it fails again. Thanks for watching.